In this video, we are going to understand about DNS. What is a DNS and how DNS works in an active directory? IP address is how the computers are connected in network, local network or internet. For example, you type google.com. Actually, it connects to a web server of Google with an IP address of something. So your computer connect to a web server and both of the uh, computers will transfer the information over the IP address. But we are not typing IP address in the web browser. We type a meaningful name that is google.com or yahoo.com or gmail.com. So actually a DNS server is the one having a list of all the uh, domain names and IP address corresponding to that. So when you type google.com, the DNS server send the IP address of the google.com then your computer connect to the google.com with the IP address that received from the DNS server. Similar to that, uh, think about all these computers in your organization with the uh, IP address and as an administrator you want to manage all these machines uh, having all these computers IP address in your uh, memory is not an easy uh, way to manage, right? So having a DNS in your organization also will help you to name these computers and easily identify. So you can name based upon who is using the computer. You can name a server based upon what kind of service it is giving. So instead of IP address, you can use some meaningful name to reach your computers in your organization. As we saw in the previous video, when we installed our Active Directory, a DNS role also installed automatically. So in the next video, we will be uh, joining computers to uh, Active Directory Domain Controller. By that way, all the computers who are joined to an Active Directory called as members of, of Active Directory. So these members will be listed inside uh, computers in an Active Directory so that an administrator can easily see who are all added and what is the uh, name of the computers and this is some some way to uh, easily manage the other important role of dns server is an active directory provide a lot of uh, services like for example ldap service or global catalog service and this services how the computers know that uh, these services uh, are provided by uh, which server so the dns server is how the computers locate the domain controller i will show you the dns records and that will be uh, some way easy to understand what i'm talking about so once you install an active directory a dns server role is also added to the server so when you prepare a computer with the windows 10 a dns client is automatically installed in that and uh, once you want to uh, join this computer to the domain controller then you need to uh, give the domain controller IP address in the DNS. So th when you try to join this com this computer to Active Directory, you will be providing the uh, domain name. So that time, uh, the even without knowing the exact name of the Active Directory, the DNS client can automatically locate the Active Directory because there is a DNS server and you already provided the IP address of the DNS server in the DNS client. We will see how to join uh, the computer to a, a domain controller in the next video, so it will be more easy to understand. So a DNS client and a DNS server provide a computer name to IP address mapping resolution to uh, your uh, com company. At the same time also, the DNS uh, will help you to locate the active directory in your organization. I have logged into the domain controller and what you see is the server manager dashboard. From the tools you can go and find the DNS or from the server manager dashboard also you can get DNS. So once you select DNS right click here then click on the DNS manager that will open up the DNS manager and if you double click that will expand you that will expand then from the forward lookup zone you will see some of the details now we have only one domain controller so here we have only one record once we add more and more computers that all will be listed here with the ip address if you look at the tcp you can see that ldap kerberos and global catalog 
So when a computer wants to use one of these services, it automatically get the details by simply searching ldap.domain.com. So it doesn't need to know that uh, which server is handling the service because those records are by default available here. So if a computer want to use LDAP service, then it can look up the service underscore LDAP dot Adams health dot com. And that will simply direct to this host because this host is the one offering the service. So, so this is how the DNS record, this kind of records are known as uh, SRV service location records. So this is how the Active Directory and DNS closely work. So from this, you can understand if the DNS service is not available, then the computers cannot locate the Active Directory, which means as we know that the entire aim is setting up of all this is to authenticate the users from the Active Directory domain controller. So if the DNS is not working and the computers cannot locate the Active Directory, then the users will not be able to log into the computer. And also the applications that use Active Directory for login to their system will also stop working. So Active Directory is very important component you can install multiple Active Directory for high availability also. So anytime if you want to create a new record, you can come here and create a new record. But if you are planning a new record for a computer, then you don't need to do it by yourself. Once you join a computer to a domain controller, it automatically add the IP address to this list. What we learn now is a very simple thing. DNS service that offered in Active Directory. So as you understood, DNS is a very important component in Active Directory domain controller. It works very closely. If DNS is down, then your computers and users cannot reach to the Active Directory because it cannot locate Active Directory. And that means the entire Active Directory service is also down at the end. So that is it. In the next video, we are going to see how to join a computer to a domain controller. See you in the next video.